let's talk about what uh, the main topic of this lecture outline really is, building them to, is the electron configurations for atoms. And the electron configuration is going to tell us in which, which principal energy levels, sublevels, and uh, orbitals the electrons are in. And that's really important to us because once we know where the electrons are in atoms, we're going to start allowing them to bond together and either share electrons or exchange electrons or transfer electrons from one to another. And so, uh, as one of my uh, colleagues used to say, uh, chemistry is all about the electrons. Track the electrons and you can know what's going on in chemistry class. Now, there's two methods to do electron configurations. Method one is called the uh, shape of the periodic table method. That's actually the method that I prefer, although a number of students uh, prefer to do it another way, which I'll show you in a minute. But according to the shape of the periodic table way, so this area or side of the periodic table is called the S area, starting with 1S, 2S, 3S, 4S, etc. Uh, helium is in the 1S area. Maybe helium in, should be over here because it should be in the S area. However, since it acts as, since it's a noble gas, most people do put it over here. I've seen some periodic tables that put it in both places, though. This is going to be what's called the P area. And you can see while there's a 1S, there's no 1P. There's a 2S, and 2P is our first P sublevel. Then 3S, 3P, and things get a little crazy. Well, this is still the S, and it's 4S. But our first D is 3D. So the Ds are one behind the S's. And when we get down here, there's an asterisk, 6S. Then you go asterisk down to 4F. So the Fs are two behind the S's, as we will see. And so this is called the S area, the P area, the D area, and the F area of the periodic table. Now, um, the other method does a pictogram or a picture, and it starts with 1s, 2s, going all the way down to 7s, and then 2s, 2p. And this, what's nice about this is these do all of the sublevels that are in each level. So 2 only has, n equals 2 only has 2s and 2p. 3 has all the way out to 3D. 4 goes out to F. I mentioned that 5 actually goes, you know, there are actually more sublevels out here, but you don't need them for the periodic table. And it makes this nice little picture. And then you draw these arrows coming down at a diagonal, and it actually shows you the order of the sublevels, as we will see. So we will see that 1S comes first, then 2S, then 2P and 3S, then 3P and 4S. And so you have, so this method works. Uh, students like it. Um, the, so I would say more students end up using the shape of the periodic table, especially if they go on. But as everything in this course, you have to think about what's the best way or the easiest way for you to do it and to get the right answer. And we'll reference uh, both of them. Both of them give the same answers. Um, and now let's do our first electron configuration. It's going to be for chlorine and for the chlorine atom. And we will only do electron configurations for atoms in this course. And for the chlorine atom, um, well, so let's get our regular periodic table, which I know is around here somewhere. Yep, there it is. And that's got the numbers on it. So chlorine is right here. It's element number 17. So chlorine has 17 protons. It's an atom, which means it's neutrally charged. And so it will have 17 electrons. That's a seven, believe it or not. 17 electrons. And here's what I mean by the shape of the periodic table approach. So, let's see if they can keep this on. All right. 
So start at the top of the periodic table and you're going to start with 1s. And 1s has one, two elements in it. And I'm going to put this two as a superscript. On the homework, we can't do superscript, so you won't make it a superscript. It'll just be 1s2 right next to the s, no space. Um, but true electron configuration fashion has this 2. And so what this means is in the 1s sublevel, there are two electrons. 1s, two electrons, ding, come back to the other side like a typewriter, if you remember or know what that is. Then we're in the 2s area. And for 2s, there are again two electrons. And we're constantly making sure that we're still less than 17. We've only got four so far. So three, four. Here we are in the 2p area. 2p holds up to one, two, three, four, five, six. And we know that 2p holds six because we've just talked about how there are three orbitals, three orbitals. Each orbital holds up to two electrons. Two times three is six. All right. That puts us all the way over here, that neon, ding, come back to the other side, 3s, 2, keep going, 3p, and 3p, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there's chlorine, 3p5. That is the electron configuration for the chlorine atom. It has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 4, 12 and 5 is 17. It has 17 electrons. And it has 2 electrons in n equals 1, 8 electrons in n equals 2, and 7 electrons in n equals 3. We do not need any more of the sublevels for chlorine. Now, the zinc atom. The zinc atom is going to go a little bit farther. It's actually got the first same 17 electrons as chlorine. But let's find zinc on the periodic table. Zinc is element number 30. That means it's going to have 30 protons. And for a zinc atom, it's going to have 30 electrons. And uh, again, start at the top. 1s2. Ding. 2s2, 2p6, ding, 3s2, 3p6, and we do make it all the way over here because this is only 18 electrons so far. And I went kind of fast there because it's, again, basically the same as for chlorine. Then ding, 4s2, and keep going. Now we're in the 3d area. 3D all the way over here is going to be 10 of them. 3D, 10. And that is 30 electrons. We end up exactly at zinc spot on the periodic table. And in case you're wondering, you can put them in this order, which is how both method one and method two will do it. Or you can switch them up and say 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, and 4s2. That's fine as well. And I call this the shape of periodic table. And I'll just use pt for periodic table there. That's using the shape of the periodic table method. It's also using that uh, picture that I showed um, with the method number two. Totally works the same. Still has... Uh, 4s, come around, and then 3d. And this method is called the uh, lowest, or sorry, not method. This order is lowest to highest energy. And we won't talk too much about it, but I did want you to know that there are options here. So either of these... I accept as correct answers, and either of these, the learning management system homework, will accept as correct answers. 
Uh, if and you, you don't do superscripts, you just put them as regular numbers. So 1s2, oh, let's see. So just to help you out here, so this would be entered 1s2 space 2s2, oh, 2s2 space 2p6 space, etc. And you could enter it either of these ways into the learning management system.